In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create stunning effects with the displacement map in After Effects. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel, let's dive right in and get the basics out of the way. This is how the displacement map works. I've added a shape, created a grayscale gradient. White on the left, 50% gray in the center and black on the right. This is the displacement map. Let's hide it. I've added a second layer to show you how it impacts the picture. Add the displacement map effect. Let's quickly search for it on your footage or the comp or layer you want to apply it to. Choose the displacement map layer. After effects and masks are applied, you can choose which values it is based on, then increase the max displacement. So the white part is displaced to the left, the black part to the right, and anything that is 50% gray stays untouched and that creates pretty unique effects. If the control layer you choose has a different size, you can choose the displacement map behavior. You have the option to wrap pixels around or to expand the output beyond the original layer. <laughs> Let's explore that principle. We add a new solid to a comp, name it displacement map. Then we create the grayscale texture with the turbulent noise effect. Let's set the fractional type to strings, noise type, soft linear. Contrast, 35, brightness minus 35. Let's scale it up to around 300%. Complexity, let's set it to one. And let's animate the evolution with a time expression, as usual. Time, asterisk, 50. Then let's add another solid, color, pink this time. Let's name it background, maybe. We add Venetian blinds. The transition, not the animation preset. Set the transition completion to 50% with to 20. Then we add the displacement map effect. You can find it in effects under distort, by the way. Choose the map layer. After effects and masks are applied, you remember we use the turbulent displace effect. Let's increase the max horizontal displacement and wrap pixels around. We need to hide the map. Awesome. A unique glitchy background animation. You can use any kind of layer as displacement map. Let's use this video clip here. I've increased the contrast with the curves effect. Let's add a new solid we want to apply the effect to. And let's use Venetian blinds to create lines again, like we just did. This time, let's rotate them so that they point to the wind direction. Let's add the displacement map effect again, choose the video, then displace it horizontally and vertically. It works out without effects applied. We didn't need the curves effect after all. To smooth the edges of the lines, let's add a Gaussian blur effect. Set it to four, then add a matte joker effect. You can find it under effects and matte. Set geometric softness to four, choke one to five, gray level softness one to around 12%. And the lines move like fabric. Did you know there are a lot more resources on my website? Check out my courses, develop motion design strategies for brands, learn how to create smooth animations, or how to animate with expressions in After Effects. Sign up to my newsletter, get your free expression sheet, or download more than 150 After Effects project files. The link is in the description. Now let's quickly check out how I created this ripple effect. It's animated through the displacement map. It's a shape layer with a few objects in it. At the bottom, a background rectangle, 50% gray. That's the area that is unaffected. Then there are animated ellipse shapes in brighter gray and darker gray, and they displace parts of the line. They increase in size and lose opacity. It's all about the timing of the animations to make it feel natural. I've added a Gaussian Blur effect to the map layer. And the soft transitions create the waves. Finally, I've added the echo effect to create a second line within the waves. And that's it. The displacement map effect creates pretty realistic refractions. I've added a background and a text layer, as well as a round shape with a linear gradient as fill. The colors orange and magenta, a diagonal gradient direction. And I've added a layer style, inner glow, to create this bright glowing edge. 
Now we want to add some refraction to the round shape. First of all, we duplicate the shape layer. Name it Shape Map. Then delete the layer style. And link it to the shape layer so that it moves along. Next, we adjust the linear gradient. Use white and dark gray as color. Position the white start in the center and the dark color towards the edges. Let's adjust the position of the color stops, increase the white part so that we get a dark shadow around the edge. Now we use it as Luma track mat for the text layer. You might need to switch from alpha to Luma and invert it. The text is cut off below the shape. Then we duplicate the text layer, move it above the shape and uncheck the invert button. It is only visible on the shape. We add the displacement map effect, we choose the shape map layer. After effects and masks are applied and displace the text. You probably have to adjust the gradient of the map to get the refraction right, the position and the color values. Now, Let's add a refraction effect to video footage. With no layer selected, we grab the pen tool to add a vertical line. Let's set the stroke width to 40 pixels. We use a linear gradient for the stroke. From white to black. To adjust the gradient position, we need to switch back to the selection tool. White on the left edge, black on the right one. Then we add a repeater, add some copies. Then open the transform group and set the position to X40, like the width. Let's name the shape layer, of course, displacement map. Now we add the displacement map effect to the video. Choose the shape layer, after effects and masks apply, and displace it horizontally. You could add an adjustment layer over the refracted part and slightly increase the brightness and add some noise to the area. Make sure to check out the links in the description. On the left side, I've added a video you might like. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye everyone.